Hey guys, Tammy Trayer, TrayerWilderness.com and TrayerWildernessAcademy.com. Three is a charm. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, my phone got too hot and it shut off. So, here we are. We are in the inside. It's much cooler. I'm no longer cooking, nor is my phone. Evidently, it can't handle the heat like I can. So, <laughs> here we are. Good morning, Tammy. We are inside and trying this for the third time now, so hopefully this works well. <laughs> So how are you all and uh, what kind of good beverage are you drinking today? I've got iced coffee. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> so I have a question for you all, whether you're live with me or whether you're watching this after the fact. How many of you worry? Come on, raise your hands. How many of you worry? I used to worry. And occasionally worry pops in my mind. Um, I'm not like some super robot that doesn't worry at all. But I found a different place in my life. And I want to share this with you guys. Just water. Good deal. You're smart. That's good. You're hydrating. <laughs> I got to switch over to water shortly. I just need the ice. The, the cold in my system really helps me when I'm healing. So I was doing the iced coffee. It should have been iced water. But, you know. I was going after my vices, I suppose. But I want to talk about worry today um, because I had a situation this week where I could have really worried. Um, it is concerning. Uh, I had a lot of uh, spinal swelling and inflammation. Uh, good morning, Sheila. And I also am having problems where this section of muscles is choosing not to work properly. They lock up or feels like somebody has their hand really tight across my throat was what I was experiencing previously. Yesterday, I was experiencing problems swallowing. So it's really nerving. Um, my muscles need stretched. My muscles need released. I know how to do it, but I also realize that there is a point in time where maybe I won't be able to release them and I live in the middle of nowhere. So it is a little concerning. Um, and I had a lot of comments about uh, going to the hospital and there's two reasons that we didn't. One, we can't afford to. Uh, don't get me wrong. If there's an emergency, we're going to go. Um, but with this illness, I have learned that there are really weird oddities. And had I gone to the hospital, we would have experienced loads of tests, expensive tests, because there was some really severe things going on. And I would have ended up being discharged and they wouldn't have known what was causing it. Because what was causing it was a buildup of yeast in my system, or candida. And... I needed to, um, I need to get it out of my system. My doctor in Georgia is blessed with the ability um, to heal. And I am so thankful for her because she just always knows. Yes, we're back, Chad. My phone got too hot and it shut off on me. <laughs> I can't win. I may as well have just done 1030. <laughs> but anyway, um, this whole illness all the way through, I've had doctors laugh at me and and just, uh, you know, be snarky with me, saying that it's in my head. And I know that other people have suffered so much more with the medical system. I just didn't give it another chance. Once they laughed at me and told me it was in my head, I, I knew I was done there. I knew they couldn't help me. Or it would take a very special person in the medical system to help me. Someone that... that um, was willing to look past the textbooks because this is a really weird illness. So something as simple as candida can cause uh, the swelling in my tissue and um, the inability to move. I mean, I was flat on my back for two days, basically, and I hit points in the day where I'm being smart and I'm being really in tune with my body. And when I feel that it is exhausted or it is telling me that I need to do something different, I listen. So I lay flat for a while and just give it a break. And like I said, yesterday I had the mountain boy um, drive me because I did not feel comfortable driving. I just, I, my muscles and everything, I, and I just felt really weird in my head. So he drove me, and I think I mentioned this on the previous video, um, Thank you, Candy, if you're listening. You are an angel and love you and thank you for your generosity. We got to go pick raspberries in an incredible raspberry patch. I never saw anything like it. 
and we got a very huge bowl of raspberries and uh, we're very blessed but the mountain boy drove and in the previous video that I got cut off on, I was talking about worry and different things that we worry about. Um, I don't know about you moms, but as soon as you give birth, there's like this button that's pushed and all these weird things that you never even considered become a thought and a worry. And I'm sure for you men, Chad, you're a good dad out there. Um, I'm sure that there are things that you didn't think about that you suddenly think about now that you have to care for these, these babies. Well, and as they grow, the different worries come into place. And what's funny is when we moved in our tent out here, we experienced something new, probably that our, the feelings our parents felt when we first started driving. Um, there were no cell phones and there was no way to get in touch with anybody. You basically unleashed your child to the car and hoped that they made it where they were going and were safe, you know, and that's what it was like out here because there's no cell service within a 30 mile radius of us. If you're at the top of the mountain, you might get lucky. And, um, I figured Chad, it's just, I just, you know, I can't compare, but it's just so weird how that happens and how as a dad and as a mom, all these new worries set in. But today I could be worried. Um, yesterday when the mountain boy and I were returning home, they had started logging up above us again. And logging is the main industry out here. You travel on dirt county roads and they're loaded with thousands of pounds of lumber, you know, trees. Or they're empty and flying like crazy to get to the top of the mountain to get loaded. So it's it can be pretty sketchy. And um, if you have a CB, that is a little bit better, but they don't always communicate. You know, we'll communicate our position and our location on the county road so that they know we're coming. But oftentimes they aren't communicating or and all of a sudden you come around a corner and there's this massive truck loaded with thousands of pounds of trees in the in taking up the whole road so you're up banks and all kinds of crazy stuff from time to time and yesterday was one of those days he was driving came around the corner and there's this massive log truck hogging the road so he handled it well but I could worry he doesn't have a CB in the deer slayer which is his minivan and I'll share that story another time and uh, just remind me and um, the mountain man and mountain Ben are up doing firewood, and I could worry about that too because it's a really dangerous thing. Um, you know, unexpected things can happen, and there's no cell service up there either, so that if there's an emergency, you know, they're in the middle of nowhere. Sheila says, my daughter has been diagnosed with neuromalitis optica. She has lost vision in both eyes. Everything is blurry now. Can you tell us who the doctor is in Georgia? Yeah, um, actually, uh, Sheila... Uh, Private message me. There's a couple doctors I can refer you to, but my doctor down in Georgia is Dr. Kolb. It's K-O-L-B, and she is amazing and would very likely be able to help your daughter. So definitely check her out. And like I said, uh, private message me. I'd be happy to share more with you. Um, and sorry to hear about that, but um, seeking uh, alternative help is a really good thing because sometimes it is something really simple in our body that is overlooked by the medical system because they are so narrow-minded to the books and if you guys if any of you are in the medical system I don't mean to slight you but I've experienced some really awful stuff but I've also experienced some really amazing healing with natural medicines and I've been involved with them since I'm 14 and I'm aging myself that's a long time ago, <laughs> 34 years ago. So anyway, um, definitely check into her and definitely reach out to me, Sheila. I'd be happy to help you further. But um, there's lots of things we can worry about. We worry about our finances. We are in a situation I could be worried to death, but I've, uh, I've come to a really unique place in my life. And as a matter of fact, when I got to this place, I thought there was something wrong with me. Like I felt numb, like I no longer cared and I no longer had feeling and I no longer... I don't even know how to explain it. It was during my illness and when I finally realized where I was, it was like such a light bulb and just so amazing to me. Where I am today is that I am walking in faith so strongly that I have such a peace that I don't really worry about things. Things pop in my mind, I think about them, but I don't let them fester there, I don't let them stay there and I turn them around into a positive thought. and. 
you know, some people may say I'm kooky. Some people may say I'm wearing the pink shady glasses and always making life good when it really sucks. But you know what? <laughs> I'd rather be in that in that place than in in the sucky, you know, and and living in that negative spot. And honestly, guys, I feel really blessed to be in this place because no matter what comes my way and no matter what I'm having to tackle and what I'm having to deal with, that total peace is so comforting. And and honestly, when I didn't realize what was going on with me and I felt that I had no feeling, I was really kind of distraught that, you know, life had taken over so much or I've let life take over so much that I have become numb to life. And, and that I don't ever want to do. Um... But to have this peace is just so, so amazing. Um, how do you get to this place is the question I imagine many of you are asking. Because, guys, I truly have experienced where you just question and question and question things. And, and you try not to worry and you walk away and you give it to God. And then suddenly you're doing one of these numbers and you're pulling it back or you're reeling it back into you. And I did that too. And... The trick and the thing is, is to just constantly trust that the outcome of the situation you are in is going to be bigger and better than you could have ever imagined. And I know that that sounds hard, but you guys know what I'm walking through right now. And um, you know that we've walked through other things. And I have a dear friend, Pat Kenny, who is walking through his second year of cancer treatment and he is just such an amazing, positive person. And he feeds my fire, too, is when you see people that are also going through stuff that, you know, you think just, wow, you know, how how is he doing it? How is he keeping so positive? And, you know, he's got strong faith, too. And it really, it really makes a difference when you can pull into God and trust so much that you don't worry. And it's just, I have, I have... I wrote a post about um, it the other day, and I'd love for you to go to treyerwilderness.com. If you scroll down on the main page, it'll be listed as one of the recent posts. Um, it's, it's called Faith Through the Storm, and I refuse to give worry any of my time because worry is a seed of the enemy, and he, he just sits there and he hopes that he can get you just slowly by implanting different worries in your mind. And then as you worry and, and you pick up on that worry, he accelerates the worry and just intensifies it. Oh, that's really awesome of you, Chad. Chad is one of my best prayer warriors, Sheila, and he uh, messaged in the messaging and the commenting um, that he would love to pray for you to PM him. So um, he's, he's an amazing prayer warrior and a very good friend. So, you know, the enemy is going to keep trying. And we've, we've had a recent occurrence that was just so funny to me. Um, the enemy will keep trying and keep trying because he wants you in a bad place. He wants you distrusting. He wants you afraid. He wants you worrying. And he wants you walking and pulling away from God. And um, we are pulling in so tightly that a circumstance happened the other day on our YouTube channel. We got a comment and um, without going into too much detail, it was um, it was really funny to see that that the enemy was using this person trying to um, get our goat. It was a negative comment, and it was uh, from somebody like four years, five years back in in our lives, and um, they just have a very negative mindset and a very negative mentality and it's one I'll never understand when you know people are trying to help and they always feel it is um, somehow an act of trying to get to them and to do something negative to them and that it is a mindset that I will never understand and what was so funny to me is that the enemy was using that and what was even funnier to me is after five years of them being um, very angered with us they're watching our YouTube channel still and posting comments on it. For me, in that situation, you know, I would pray for them, but I would walk away and disengage and I wouldn't be worrying about them. I wouldn't be, you know, stuck in that. And it's just so funny to me how um, 
the enemy used that and thought that it would stir the pot. And instead, what it did is it made us laugh. And it's just, you know, so what happens is as the enemy keeps trying to get you and you keep disengaging and pulling the other way and pulling toward God, the enemy starts to have these really lame attempts at just trying to get you. And, and I just thought that was so comical that he's like on his last string trying to get us and doesn't know what to use. So it just made me laugh. And, and I just want to encourage you guys, you know, rather than worry, when you feel worry set in, worry doesn't do anything but waste your time, waste your day, put you into a, a poor place, and take away your blessings because you're going to be in a place where you're not going to see them. You're not going to be looking for them. You're just going to be in a, a bad negative place. So I no longer waste my time on worry. I, I see it set in. I feel it set in. I understand what it is. And I turn my back on it and I turn that around. So this morning when I started thinking about the mountain boy driving home and being really tired and maybe not reacting fast enough, I turned that around to this will be great. When he gets home tonight, we're going to go for a walk at, with the dogs and it'll be great. Same with the guys. You know, um, I could worry, um, but I'm instead of worrying about what they're doing and, and their safety on the mountain, I'm thinking about how I'm going to feed them when they get home. So, you know, you disengage those thoughts. And I'm listening to a, an, a podcast. Um, I just started listening to her. I believe it's Brooke Castile or Costello. Um, it is the life coach is how you can find her. Um, she's really amazing and she's really got some really positive stuff to hang on to. And she said she has a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry and it is one of the biggest things and one of the biggest struggles she's ever had to overcome. But she doesn't waste any light, any of her life and her time on things. She turns things around. Mimi says there were some real nasty spirits attacking you last night. I went out in the spirit and shredded as many as I could. I hope you're better today. <laughs> Thank you, sweet friend. Yeah, he was attacking. My throat's still tightening up on me some, but I don't feel like I'm laying on inner tubes anymore, which is a plus. Um, and I don't have the pain. Um, and I'm going to share this with you guys, too. Um, this is very controversial, but hemp oil from the marijuana plant is not something that will make you high or will affect you in that way. Hemp oil is actually a healing agent from the plant. And um, so there are different aspects and different things being pulled out of the marijuana plant to be utilized. Hemp oil, however, is something that is very good for healing. It is very good for pain management. Um, it's used greatly for fibromyalgia and arthritis. There we go. Finally, it was spinning and spinning for a very long time. Enemy doesn't want you to share with me all of a sudden the video. <laughs> I know, I was just laughing at the same same thing, Mimi. What I'm sharing today is something that he doesn't want me to share because um, there are so many things around us that can be used for healing, that do amazing things, and society is fearful of them because of poor misrepresentation. One of them is hemp oil, guys. And um, I want you to check into it. Um, and I will be doing more on it because that was part of what gave me the great relief that I had, that I received. Uh, it helps remove inflammation. And I actually use it to make salad dressings and everything else. So it is an edible oil as well as a medicinal oil. Um, I have some hemp salve that I use on my back and my neck and my shoulders. And then I also have um, a non-GMO hemp oil that I use to make my salad dressings and use in my smoothies as well as in my bone broth. So don't, don't be jaded by the fact that it comes from a marijuana plant. Um, do your research because there's a lot of really healthy benefits to that part of the plant. There are other parts of the plant that are as also deemed medicinal but also give you the high. And um, so just do your research and check it out. But I will be writing more on it because it is a really huge healing agent and something that I have been personally using and, and I'll be sharing. But guys, I just want to encourage you not to worry. Worry is so dangerous. Worry can escalate and worry can cause so many problems and 
if you wouldn't worry and you wouldn't even think about it, those problems wouldn't even exist. That's the crazy part. I want to read something to you. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Verse 7. Then we will ex you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Guys, I'm telling you. It was such an amazing and very quick, very powerful feeling that I thought I was numb to the world. That I was just that sick and I was just tired of it all. And the more I, I lived in that place, the more I realized that that was so not the case. That I was just living in such a peace knowing that he's taking care of me. And he's taking care of my family. And it's an, an amazing, amazing place to be. So if you can learn to just take that baby step of turning the things that you worry about into a positive. Now, some of the things you might worry about, they may be valid. And like, for example, if it's your finances and if it's because you're afraid you're not going to pay something on time, then take the time to utilize an, a free app that's out there or get a notebook and write it down and, and record things or create a spreadsheet. You know, we all have different levels of expertise. We all have different levels of absorption. Um, don't, don't allow your worry to debilitate you and stagnate you. And that's what it will do. So if that, if your worry is something simple, like paying something on time, put reminders in place. You can put a reminder on your phone that notifies you every 15 minutes if you want. And, and that way you won't forget. Those are valid worries. You know, sometimes our worries are valid, but they're things that we can change and that we can step up to and walk through and turn around and fix them. And then they're no longer a worry. Here we go again. So if you guys take the time to walk through your worries that are legitimate and, and, and correct them and move past them, the more you take those baby steps, the less you will have worries. It's learning how to control our worries and also do something about the ones that are legitimate. And, you know, worrying senselessly about something that could happen that didn't happen, that probably won't happen, is a waste of time. So I hope you understand the difference there. And if you are a worrier um, and you want prayer, message Chad, message me. I pray for you all every day. And um, if you have prayer requests, I want you to understand that you can list them in the comments below and you can just say simply, I need prayer or my daughter needs prayer. You don't have to go into detail. You don't have to share. God knows what your prayer needs are and I would be honored and so would Chad and many of the others in here to lift you in prayer. I know Tammy is a prayer warrior. Mimi is a prayer warrior. So, you know, if you have prayer needs or you have worries about something or you have a legitimate worry and you're not sure how to fix it, Leave comments. I answer them all. And if you don't want to put it in the comments here that the whole world can see, private message me anytime. I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to help you guys. So before it locks up on me again, I'm going to say a quick prayer for you guys because I have to get out of here to get to my treatment. So dear Jesus, I just would like to ask you to bless these people that have been present and those that are going to watch the replay and Lord just be with them help them in their walk help them in their worries and in their struggles and just give them that peace and comfort that you promise and Lord just help them to pull into you when they do have their worries and find their peace and comfort through you versus other vices and Lord just strengthen them empower them let them feel your presence and help them to be a light to others and shed their light and help us reach more for you, Lord. And we just thank you for what you've done, but more so what you're going to do in our daily walks. And we just thank you and ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay, it didn't spin. There we go. As much as he's attacking me today, he didn't win that one. <laughs> so guys, pay attention to what you're worrying about. If it's valid, fix it. Do something about it. Stop worrying about it and, and, and repair it. If you are wasting time worrying about things that are senseless, that have not happened, that probably won't happen, turn them around. Find something else to take up your time. Get a hobby, paint, uh, listen to podcasts, uh, listen to music, listen to good uh, Christian music. You can listen to my... Hmm, I don't remember what I put it on there. Um, I have an a inspirational... Um, 
feed in a playlist in Spotify. Chad, do you remember what it is? <laughs> I don't remember my, my special link for it. So I'll tell you what, when I get back today, I will share my inspirational link to my Spotify playlist in the description so that you can um, get involved in that and pull into that if you need something. Um, it's just music that I go to when I need to pick me up. Something else I almost forgot to mention. This is really important. Guys, this is a free course, and I want to encourage it. I was talking about the hemp oil, but it didn't turn the light bulb on. Um, the uh, New England um, Herbal Academy is offering a free course right now for herbalists. And anybody can take it. I have signed up. I encourage you to take it. I hope to take all of their courses at some point. They're amazing, and I want to know as much as I can to help my family. Um... Oh, thanks, Chad. Chad said also watch Tammy's YouTube videos. Thank you. <laughs> um, they're quirky sometimes, but they are entertaining. Um, also, um, you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash herbalist and sign up for that free course. Down below in the description are all kinds of very, what I feel, important links that you should check out. Uh, Thrive Market has been added to the very bottom. Um, Thrive Market is a place where I can get my peanut butter. I know that sounds really funny, but regular peanut butter makes me horrendously ill. But um, Earth Balance makes a coconut peanut butter. It's coconut oil with peanut butter and also their regular creamy peanut butter. And it's one of the things that I am able to eat, but I can't find here. Amazon has it for like $9 for a little jar. So I get it through Thrive Market and I think it's like for something. So I'm just excited that they have all the specialty foods that I can't get readily without driving an hour and a half or two hours. And if you spend more than $50, your order is free of shipping. Um, Sheila says, thank you so much for all of this and the prayers. I'm so glad I stumbled upon you today. Me too, Sheila. And um, keep it, we will be keeping in touch. Um, there's much that I'm sure can be done to help your daughter and we will certainly lift you in prayer. Awesome. Tammy said she signed up as well. Yes, Thrive Market is amazing and I would be lost without it. Um, that's one of my ways of getting food in the winter months as well as Amazon Prime. Um, Butcher Box has great non-GMO meats. And I'm trying to think what else is in there, but there's a whole list of links. I encourage you to check them out, but please sign up for the free herbalist course. Um, you don't have to take it right away. You can sign up for it, and then when you click on it, then it has, I believe, six months till it, the time is up. And um, I really feel it's very worthy, worthy of your time. They have great courses and great information, and the more we learn on how we...